In this episode, pool hacks. Now when it comes to posing for pictures by the pool, usually people will sit like this and take a photo. Not the most glamorous way to take a photo because it'll make your legs look shorter and stumpier. So what you want to do is rotate your body, elongate your legs and pose like this. So this one is for when you have a hole in your pool float. And usually these holes occur at the seam of your float. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. A quick fix, okay? First make it nice and flat, and then you wanna grab some baking paper, cover the hole with the baking paper. Next, just use a flat iron to cap over the hole. So basically, you just go over the hole until the plastic has melted and stuck together. So as you can see, the plastic has melted together and the hole is gone. So I've gone ahead and I've blown my pool float up and as you can see, my seal is right here and guys, it works. So it could be more than a temp fix. It could probably last quite a long time by the looks of it. Ah, that's pretty nifty. Now, if you like taking selfies in the pool, you may have come across this problem where you drop your selfie stick and it sinks to the bottom just like this. I'm going to teach you a way to avoid this problem. All you need is a pool noodle. All you have to do is thread your selfie stick in the middle of the pool noodle. Now when I take selfies, I don't have to worry about my selfie stick dropping to the bottom of the pool. Ta-da! If you like chilling in the pool, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY floating drink holder. All you need is a pool noodle, cut it to this size. Next, you're going to need a glue gun. So what you want to do is glue your two noodles together. Next, you want to get your drink and you want to trace around your drink so you know where to cut. All right, so I've kind of marked off where I want to cut. Um, I'm going to get my pen knife and go ahead and cut a hole into my pool noodles. It's gonna look something like this. Don't worry about it being too deep or whatnot, it doesn't matter because it just needs to hold your can like that. And there you go. It will float in the pool now. And now my floating cup holder is ready to sail away. Sail away. <laughs> Ta-da! Goodbye! So this one is for those of you who use goggles, all right? So as you already know, when you have goggles and you throw them in your bag, they can get pretty scratched up. A great way to prevent that from happening is to actually use a sock. So when you're done with your pool session, all you have to do is place your goggles inside your sock and then you can throw them in your bag. And now you don't have to worry about getting scratches on your goggles. So you know how it gets really annoying when you're in the pool and your goggles start to fog up? Well, a great way to prevent that from happening is to actually use baby shampoo. A lot of scuba divers use this trick as well. All you have to do is place a tiny little drop inside your goggle lens. Then you just simply spread it out through your lens, okay? Once you've laid the baby shampoo over your lens, just give it a quick dip in the water and that should leave a nice film over your lens and prevent it from fogging up. Now, if you have an old yoga mat lying around like this one and you don't wanna waste it by throwing it away, a cool little DIY trick you can do is to actually make visors out of it. And you know, you can make this one with your kids because kids will love doing this, because kids love projects. So here's a little trick that you can do to keep your kids occupied. First is to draw out your visor cap. I guess this is as wide as my face. <laughs> and then you want to make another bigger rainbow. Okay, it's not the best looking uh, shape, but that's okay. This is why it's called DIY, guys. This is for everybody to make. You can be completely not creative at all and still get it right. All right, so next thing is to just cut out this sorry okay all right that's one bit cut out um i may have made this a little short so i'm just gonna go a little bit above it because otherwise it's not going to create any shape so i'll make this a little bit longer i've cut out my visor it's not too shabby next you want to cut two slits here and here and then you want to grab your sunglasses thread your sunglasses through the holes Okay, so let's just see how well this works. Okay, 
So I just <laughs> place it like this. And then this way, the sun doesn't glare into my eyes anymore. Hey, your kids will love it. Just make sure that you put sunblock here because that is going to get burnt to a crisp. Come to think of it, you should just put sunblock everywhere anyway, right? So don't throw away your old yoga mats because you can find many uses for them, including these. So it can be pretty easy to lose your slippers at the pool when you're having fun. A simple solution is to attach a carabiner to your bag like so. Then you can attach your slippers to your carabiner. This way you won't lose your slippers unless you lose your bag. And that is it for this episode. Now don't forget to check out the merch that I designed at tandemmerch.com. Maybe you'll find something you like. Also you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and if you like this episode, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can just simply download the free Click My Wake Up to watch the videos before they hit YouTube, people. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.